from the News Channel 5 Network and Out and About newspaper. This is Out and About Today. Number one singles, gold albums, Grammy nominations, all part of Ty Herndon's amazing career. Well, this past year, Ty celebrated another milestone. He announced in People magazine that he was an out, proud, and happy gay man, becoming the biggest male country star to date to make that declaration. We'll be talking with Ty on this special edition of Out and About Today, but first, here's a clip of Ty in action with Lies I Told Myself. You're too small to catch a football. You're a fool to follow your heart. Crazy for even thinking you got a chance with that guitar. You know the truth don't always set you free. Some lies I told myself. Glad I didn't All right, Ty Herndon and Lies, I told myself, Ty Herndon, it's good to see you. Great to have you here. <laughs> Thank you, old friends. Good I to be you, here. It, it's been a long time. We, we go way back. We do. I remember, in fact, I started, you were like one of the artists that I was covering when I was at TNN and CMT when you first came out with What Mattered Most. So, I mean, it goes all the way back there. You mean just last year? <laughs> yeah, was it? yeah, a couple <laughs> years ago. That's awesome. I tell you, you know, <laughs> it, it's amazing, though, as I look back and as I was getting ready for this uh, interview, and, and we've done many interviews, you know, between now and then. Um, when you came out, did it publicly, when you came out publicly, mm -hmm. did it feel like you had envisioned? I, I, was, ner I was really nervous, Were you? number one, because um, I've been in this industry a long time. I think my biggest fear, more than coming out, was that I wouldn't get to remain in a business that I love so much. Because country music is who I am. I've, I've been doing it since I was five years old, country, bluegrass, and gospel. So um, I wasn't afraid about being authentic. Um, I was more afraid that the country fans wouldn't accept me for being authentic and that I wouldn't continue to tour and make records and do what I love. So, um, man, did I underestimate the country fans. Uh -huh. they, they are amazing and incredible and fantastic human beings. And I have, uh, I have seen such a surge of fans at the shows. It's kind of a blended family now. We see a lot of the same country fans and a lot of LGBT people at the shows. And um, you know what they're there for? They're there for the music, man. They're there. So we have a blended family of equality um, and a night of great country music, which is fantastic. Oh, that is great. Now, let me ask you, if you were in the same position today, if you were uh, coming into your own in country music, you were coming out with a single that was setting records just like What Mattered Most did when it first came out, mm -hmm. went number one. If you were faced with it today and you were in the closet and right. you had a number one single, would you come out right now if you were, if, if the career was, was just beginning? Well, we're in a different climate today. I mean, country music is on the world stage now. We're growing up so much. So I'm certainly waiting for that, that young artist to, to, to come out and have, a, have their first single out on the radio and their first video and be an out and proud uh, LGBT person. How fantastic would that be? And I do think it's coming. Um, but knowing what I know today and everything that I've been through in my life, God bless the broken road that led me right to where I am today. Um, and I wouldn't go back and change a thing because it's a part of the fabric of who I am mm -hmm. today. I wouldn't have a story to tell. And that story wouldn't be changing lives with other young people if I didn't have that. So that was really a gift to me. Um, but if I had it all to do over today, knowing where we are today in country music, yes, absolutely. Yeah. I, would, uh, I would depend on my, my heart, my person, my talent, my God, and know exactly who I am. And see where it leads from there. Yeah. Yeah, that's terrific. Now, what made this past year the right time to come out? Well, you know, I was out to my family and friends and most of the industry here, but it was time for the fans to know. Um, I just wanted to um, live a life of equality and, and start writing songs and not hiding who I am, not hiding my relationship. Um, and being able just to be myself. Um, you know, being yourself is when you get to start having integrity in your life. And I lived a life of lies for so long that my integrity was damaged. And so in order for me to fully be happy, it was time to make that statement. So it was really for very selfish reasons. But like I said, I wanted to continue having a career in country music, so I certainly am glad it all worked out. Yeah, well, so you can let yourself <laughs> off the hook on that, too, so you're yeah. being a little hard on yourself, because, I mean, you were under a lot of pressure. Now, Thank when you. you did come out, mm -hmm. um, a lot of people were talking about it, and I know the ladies of the talk uh, did a, a whole opening on that. So we're going to show a clip yeah. from that, and then I'm going to ask you about this on the okay. backside, so take a look. Do you think country music fans will support Ty Herndon, 
or turn their back on him. Oh. Support. Support. Well, look, I mean, you can't look at one group categorically mm -hmm. and just put them all in the same place. I think like the NFL country music, it's a very difficult place to come out. I do think that a lot of fans do turn their back on you in that group. Some don't, of course, but I talked to Shelly Wright, who is the last big country artist to come out, mm -hmm. and she said it's not easy to be gay in America, but it's an entirely different story when you're hiding in a profession that would much rather you be a drug addict than a gay man. Wow. Mm. Okay, so... Very strong statement. Yeah, absolutely. So how did that, that hit you when you heard that? Well, thank God for Shelly Wright. She is, um, she's a pioneer. She did this five years ago when the climate wasn't so friendly. So I give her a, a lot of credit for paving the way for myself and Billy Gilman and artists to come. She is, um, she's a force to be reckoned with, and she's an old and dear friend. Um, but to have that kind of statement made on the talk and have that kind of support to come from the ladies and also the audience kind of told me once again where we are today. Now it's not all been easy. There's always haters out there. I've had my share of that. Uh -huh. But one thing my grandmother told me a long time ago, you gotta love everybody. So, you know, for the haters out there, I've just kind of said, you know what, I forgive you. I, I, I forgive the fact that you don't know me. You don't know what you're speaking into. Um, and so it actually just kind of fuels my fire to keep going and make great music. And at the end of the day, that's who I am. I, I, I love making music and writing songs. So. I, I laughed the other day. Uh, somebody said, you're just kind of still the same old redneck. I said, yeah, I'm the same old redneck. I, you know, but I, I, uh, um, I drive a nice truck and have some nice shirts. There you go. <laughs> so there, there's an upside to that. <laughs> okay, you've got a great concert that we're going to talk about. We're going to take a break right now, but there's a huge concert that you have coming up. So we're going to talk about that yes. right after this when Out and About Today will continue. Mm -hmm.